Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So we've got this GoPro right here, and the only problem with this, even though it's a really good camera, is that we don't have a mount so we can put it onto a tripod. So what we're going to be doing today is making a tripod mount for the GoPro. Okay, so I wasn't 100% sure how to build this little mount, so I made a little bit of a prototype, and this is what it looks like. So basically, all it is, is a square acrylic box that can fit the camera, very snug to keep it in place, like so, and then it has a little mounting base on the bottom with an M6 nut glued in to it. So all that happens is this little hole has a little M6 bolt that comes through, it sits on the camera like that and then gets screwed down. And that was the idea, so let's go build it. Okay, so I started by cutting the frame for the camera and these longer bits are 6.5 by 2.5 centimeters and the smaller bits are 5.2 centimeters by 2.5 centimeters and that is going to make the frame that's going to hold the GoPro. Okay, so I've cut out the base plate and it doesn't really matter what size these are because it's pretty custom to your tripod but this one is cut out at 4.5 by 5 centimeters. Right, so the next step is to make the frame for the actual camera and this is actually going to be quite simple. So this goes together with the smaller bit over the top of the bigger bit like so. Right, so I'm going to go off and make that now. So I've got the frame glued together and now I've just stuck it in this clamp to let it dry. But I thought I'd show you what it looks like and I know it's just a box, but I think that looks pretty cool. So the next step is to obviously make the uh, base mount and all I'm going to do is glue them three bigger pieces together and put it into a clamp. So I'll do that right now. And that is the base plate glued together. So my base and my frame have had 24 hours to dry and now they are completely solid. But there's one thing to note about the base and that is I drilled an M6 hole all the way through and I countersunk it at 12 mil so I can glue this bolt into the bottom. So that gives um, the tripod something to screw onto. Okay, so the next step is actually really easy and all we're gonna be doing is gluing this frame onto this base. So we wanna try and find the center, which I've already got marked out, which is right there. And just slap a whole load of glue on it and clamp it down until it's dried. So let's do that. And first, I'm gonna take the GoPro out of the camera. It's a very snug fit. Okay, so I decided to change the position where I'm gonna glue this frame down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it right to the end so we haven't got this extra little bit protruding out. Right. And all I'm going to do is run a couple lines of glue, give it a little bit of a spread, like so, and stick that down. And once we've done that, we can clamp that together, and that should be perfect. So what I'm going to do is leave that to dry, and I'll be back once it's done. So now the frame has been glued to the base, it's time to take it over to the drill to drill out the holes for the record button and the on button. So let's go over there. So now that we've got the base glued to the frame and the holes cut out for the buttons, this mount is actually done. So let me give you a bit of a close up. And that actually looks quite beautiful. So what we've got to do now is obviously stick the camera into the case. And this is a very nice snug fit, I have to admit, I have done a good job on this. And now that's in place, all we've got to do is screw it into the tripod. Like so, and now we've got our GoPro mounted to the tripod. So that is actually really cool, and we've still got full movement of this tripod. So we can loosen this up go sideways, tighten that back up, and this bit actually moves as well. So that is cool, and it was really easy to make. And now that we've actually got a tripod for this camera, 
I'm planning on using this a little bit more. So, this brings me to the end of the video, and I had quite a bit of fun making this, actually. Um, but if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.